Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great day, great night, and a great week. Assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. In any kind of relationship, we can make an assumption that others know what we think. And we don't have to say what we want. We assume they're going to do what we want to do because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt, and we think, how could you do that? You should know better. Bottom line, get rid of the gray, folks. Market wise let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 245, Nasdaq's up 231, S&Ps are up 51. Gold, gold contract down $10, trading at 1923 an ounce. We have silver up seven cents, $23.09 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck sixty-nine. $67.68 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down 13 ticks, trading 112.26. The 30-year down 16 at 127.19 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 205 ticks, trading at 102.488. Your euro is at 109. Your yen is trading at the 144, and your British pound is at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's go to the SPY, because you're going to see something pretty cool here. So, get this baby up. There you go. Okay, so... I have a four day up here. Now, this is what we're challenging right now. You can see the bar from the 22nd, 436.62. And this, <laughs> this is always cool when this happens, folks. We hit 436.63. Now, you can see that was the closing bar. Well, yeah, it was the closing bar of the 22nd. But bottom line is that that closing bar has a monster amount of volume. So what I expect, we're probably going to see here, it's a trend all day up. So I don't expect any type of big pullback. What I do expect is that the market will take some profits on the way on the, into the close here. That, that's, you know, I'm not, I'm looking for, you know, a fast move probably down, you know, what is that, 5, 10 points, who knows, something small. Because what has happened, that the cool thing is that we're up at this level, the, you know, the volume is still not here because of the fact that it's so much volume at the close. You know, what we, what we certainly do have is that right before that close, you know, it's not bad. But when you get a big trending day like this, okay, markets love to trend. Uh, when you go all day long, no, we'll see where it shakes out, whether it can blow that away. My take is it's not going to blow that number away at the close. NDX 100. But we are going higher. My, my take is also we're going to the, the highs. And it's the perfect setup to go to the highs, meaning that we're going into July 4th weekend. We take a look at the Qs. The Qs right here up the, at $6.35. We take this. We put this intraday. And we have here intraday is that you can see the Qs, are, how they're much weaker because the 22nd, which the SPY is actually going after, on the Qs, that number is 366.33. But yet we're only at 364.09. So that's saying that the NDX, you know, is weaker. And, and, that, and, and my take on the NDX is that we can get down to... Let me put the NQs up first. And this is not divergence, by the way, okay? It's just, it, we don't have divergence there. It's just showing what's weaker and what's stronger. Yeah, see that? Okay, so the bar from 30 minutes ago, that went up a bit. You know, you can get down to that low again for sure, which is the 103. Game, what was that? That's 068. That'd be quite a move. I don't think we'll go that far. We could, though. That's, yeah, let me put these on here so you can see both of them. You get volume there, that was just 20 minutes ago, and you get the volume here. The, the, the bigger one, let's see what the kind of retracement this would be if we did this. Okay, so, you know, if we did this, if we, if we did the one with the, the big volume bar, 
that would be a 0.382 retracement on the way down for the whole move up. So that's possible, man. And it'd still be at higher price. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract. You're down 10 bucks. You got 1.7 million contracts. Is that right? I'm sorry, 172,000 contracts. Now you're going against. Let's see what we're going against here. So, yeah, we're going against 187. We go look at the GLD. And the GLD, that's going against $7.9 million, doing $3.9. And then, of course, you're going against that big number. Now, I'd like to see the 177.63 hold. We got to 177.43 today. You're just above it right now. We're at 177.75. Oil. We go to the oil market. We take a look at the oil market out here. Oil right now, we're trading... This is in tough shape, man. It, now, if this can't make it to the top of the range, meaning, you know, it's a one-day, two-day wonder, that's saying that these bottoms are vulnerable, meaning the bottom, we're talking about 64 bucks right now. And then if we get over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. The dollar looks to me that, you know, it hasn't been able to hold price. So the way that is set up is that, you probably keep continue to build cause here for a bit. You know, we did a point, what did we do? A point two seven, I think, it was an anemic bounce. No, we did a point three eight two when it bounced here on uh, last Friday. But this is building cause probably to get down to the lower end of the dollar trading range right now, which is 101.747. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get Tesla up six and a half dollars. Well, actually, let's go inside the NDX. One second. We go inside the NDX out here. You got uh, Lucid uh, Motors up nine and a half percent. You got Charter five and a half percent. Sirius Satellite five and a half. Taken away from it. Walgreen Boots is down 10. You got Lumina down 4.4. Right, Generon's off 1.3. And Dexcom is down 1.3. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, you get uh, Microsoft putting 48 points, My uh, Home Depot 46, Apple 29. Home Depot, rates are coming down, folks. Home Depot broke topside yesterday. commodities and bond markets are as important